Hey guys, Pie Guy Rules here with Monsters Review. And we are going to be talking about the fact that Adventure Time is ending. I mean, don't get too sad because it's like two years from now. We <laughs> still got a lot of time yeah. to jump on the Adventure Time bandwagon. But um, it is definitely ending. This is not a hoax like SpongeBob. Uh, they confirmed it. What is your experience with Adventure Time? Uh, well, when it first came out in like 2010, I watched that original pilot and I really liked it. Uh, the one for Nickelodeon, and uh, I, I I loved the first two seasons, like with episodes like the End Kyrity, and I really liked that kind of stuff. Uh, but then I just kind of faded away from it. I started losing interest uh, around season three ish. Uh, but in these past few months, I've tried to get back and you know try watching some more recent episodes. So, hmm. well, you guys know my opinion on Adventure Time. It's kind of gone up and down. It used to be like one of my favorite shows ever, and I still do really love the the earlier material but um ever since like season six i I go up and down there are some episodes i really enjoy but in general i i I do feel like the show has lost its touch but i think it's undeniable that the show has had a huge impact on cartoon network which is why i think if people are having such a strong reaction to it ending because you know even if you never watched it that show along with regular show to an extent did kind of revive cartoon network yeah the stuff they were doing around, like right before Adventure Time, was the CN Real stuff, which was the <laughs> please no, make it stop. Um, and then before that, they had a lot of shows that I think are were like okay shows, you know, like My Gym Partner's a Monkey and um, Squirrel Boy and stuff mm-hmm. like that that were, were not big hits. They were definitely, you know, they had their fan bases, but they were not big hits. And Cartoon Network kind of needed a really big hit to say, all right, look, we're sorry for the live action uh, and I think that was Adventure Time. I wasn't really surprised to hear that Adventure Time was ending just because uh, it just really hasn't been as prevalent on Cartoon Network. But uh, I think it's fair to say that like Finn and Jake and Adventure Time has been this huge phenomenon. And uh, they're mm-hmm. like pop culture icons of the 2010s. I mean, I, you see everything, uh, not only other animated shows, but... Uh, for example, I was looking at these recent like Lucky Charms commercials, and the art <laughs> designs look just like uh, what you'd see on Adventure Time. Yeah, they, they just did a uh, an Adventure Time Simpsons couch gag. Oh, yeah, like, I saw that. Yeah, yeah, the Pendleton Ward helped out with that. It looked it looked fantastic. Yeah, that um, was great. right. Yeah, they they are pop culture icons, and again, even if even if you're not watching the show, like you see them in a lot of places now. A little bit less um, now, but like. Mm-hmm. The impact of the show, we would we would not have had uh, Over the Garden Wall, Steven Universe, or Clarence without it. Mm-hmm. Like, the, there's n- there's no way. Even if these creators still had these ideas in their mind, we would not have gotten those shows when we got them, and they wouldn't have been the same shows otherwise. Like, I absolutely think that Rebecca Sugar's time on Adventure Time was uh, very, very instrumental in her being able to make Steven Universe the way it was. Mm-hmm. Since this show had a huge impact on Cartoon Network, I don't know how they're going to be able to replace it. Yeah, that's that's the thing. I you know I'm not I'm not crying for Adventure Time being gone. I think it's about time to yeah. be honest. Um, but I I am concerned because Adventure Time is ending. Regular show is ending. Gumball. I, I've heard really mixed things. At the yeah. very least, the yeah. creator is leaving. It might be ending. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, you know and. Yeah, like we hear just a lot of these shows ending at once, and it's like, uh, guys, do you have something like big that we don't know about, or is this going to be replaced with like Teen Titans two, the the you know an extra Teen Titans Go show just to fill the time? And these these uh, are like the huge shows that like built 2010's Cartoon Network. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and I I mean I think another impact that Adventure Time had was that that was like the show again along with regular show, um, that really was like for older people too like not yeah it's got a not explicitly yeah like um you know there's a lot of episodes of of adventure time that i I would not say are things that i would expect kids to enjoy but absolutely stuff that i would expect the older set to enjoy um and so again like even if even just beyond the shows that it directly like uh had creators come from adventure time uh it definitely was a big inspiration for like i i would say even like like gravity falls definitely like stuff like that that like just kind of showed like hey look you can do stuff that's like skews a little bit older you can uh have these shows that are definitely kid friendly but um not just like hey let's slip in an adult joke here and there wink wink but like you can have shows that deal with like 
Here's an episode about Jake embracing the fact that he's going to die. Here's an episode about um, metaphor for Alzheimer's. Here's all this stuff that you you can do because uh, there is there is a want out there for more mature animation. Yeah, some of my favorite shows of all time are typically ones that people look at as kids shows, but for the most part, they deal with mature themes like you know mm-hmm. existentialism and uh, that kind of stuff. So yeah, I mean, like you, Adventure Time is definitely a show that kind of kind of led the way on that and it's weird because adventure time had this like bizarre evolution because it it started out yeah speaking of the oea cartoon short um it was basically just like here's a show that felt like a cartoon cartoon Mm -hmm. like it felt like a classic cartoon network show which is super bizarre because it ended up turning into a show that was you'd never see something this um bizarre yeah this deep i mean i don't know maybe on courage the cowardly dog but like not not this experimental on on a 90s or early 2000s show like it just it this feels like a true evolution of the medium to being something else and even even in a lot of stuff that i'm i think is like um kind of pseudo intellectual and like too out there or whatever i still definitely have to give it credit for at least trying to do these stories and do these uh do this thing that you don't you didn't see cartoons doing back then and only now you see cartoons doing because of adventure time oh yeah yeah adventure time definitely left its mark and to be honest once all these shows end including adventure time maybe that means that there's going to be a new shift or some uh new form of uh animation that becomes popular yeah um so uh and financially it was successful for cartoon network for sure yeah (laughs) Like, yeah, there's, there is tons of merchandise. It's, I think because of the simplistic design of the characters, very, very easy to slap Finn or Jake on just anything. You know, they're they're like SpongeBob in that regard, that they're very, very universal. I mean, Jake's a shapeshifter. You could do literally anything with that marketing wise. (laughs) Um, and they have, you know, just put his little eyes and and, uh, jowls on like a hat. And it's like, Jake's the hat. (laughs) Um, like the the marketing just kind of writes itself uh in in that regard totally i personally think that the show has declined over the last few years um i'm i i'm known for having the controversial opinion that i'm not crazy about season six and i think that that's kind of the season that the show's sinking uh although again i you know i did enjoy stakes there are things after that that i i think are enjoyable but Mm -hmm. in general i think the show kind of has lost its touch um but like even putting that aside, my personal opinions, uh, the viewership is not as strong as it was. It used to pull like like three million, like mm-hmm. oh, two plus million. Now it's like one million. It's it's not terrible, but it's definitely uh, on a downward slope. Uh, and also just in terms of internet discussion, like you go on the subreddit, and I've seen like years ago, you know, when season five was airing or whatever, there'd be like thousands and thousands of comments. And now I just don't see that anymore for discussion. You know, like um, it, it's not that people don't know what Finn and Jake are or, or Adventure Time is. The, the brand recognition is there, but it just seems like less people are wa- actually physically watching the show um, today. And of course, you could say that Cartoon Network is airing it not very much and yep. maybe that's the problem or maybe that's a symptom of the problem i i don't really know but regardless i think it's it's fair to say that the show has kind of been on its way out for like a year or two i mean this probably isn't really a big reason either this is i just kind of want to put this out there um mm-hmm. pendleton ward who's obviously the guy who created adventure time he stepped down during season five uh, and even though he still does work on the show sometimes and he you know he has some creative input um usually when you see animated shows uh and their creator leaves usually that just kind of marks a creative decline in the show uh for example with steve hillenberg on spongebob and craig mccracken on the powerpuff girls yeah i mean that's that's where i that's where i say the show started going down um and i i think that a lot of people didn't have the same like my reaction was like oh i gotta get out and like make a video talking about how like man i really dislike the creative decisions (laughs) they've made um, but I think a lot of people kind of had not necessarily the same reaction as me, but the reaction of just like, all right, well, I'm just going to kind of walk away from this show. And I think uh, one of the interesting things, actually, now that I think about it, Adventure Time at a point for like like two or three years had a new episode like every week, like yeah. every week because of the way like the first two seasons were produced kind of like really close to each other, like really fast. Mm-hmm. Um, 
they 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 were and because they aired 11 minute segments at a time which was also something that was new for Cartoon Network I believe uh and new in general I I don't know that I've ever seen a show air like explicitly 11 minute new episodes at a time um which I think is really great because mm-hmm. it's you spread it out um but yeah there was a time when they kept airing episodes and I remember it was I think after season five that there or, I don't know, around season five or six, somewhere in there is when we start to see these long gaps. And right now it's been a long gap since an episode. It's been a few months. And the, I believe they still have the season finale to air. Well, yeah, um, plus there's like 40 episodes in season six. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But but like, I think, um, I don't know. I think maybe that would have something to do with it. People got used to seeing it. And then as soon as they did take that gap, people kind of fell off a little. Also, maybe just, you know, with all these other shows coming up, in in Cartoon Network and even Nickelodeon you know Nickelodeon's had some shows that have been you know pretty well regarded Harvey Beaks and Loud House Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles you know there's just more to watch back back then back then because back then it was like not only was Cartoon Network kind of in a rut of like well we're trying to get away from CN Real but Nickelodeon wasn't doing too well either in terms of what the content was so it might just be that Adventure Time didn't have that much competition and now now it genuinely does uh, it does have to compete with stuff like Steven Universe. It's it's not super surprising to see that the show is ending. I mean, and again, to be fair, it's going to get like, what, like eight, nine seasons, something like that. It, it's a long running really show. Good. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so moving on a little bit. Do you have any idea what's going on with the movie? Because a, like a, a year ago, a year and a half ago, it was announced that there was going to be a theatrical adventure time movie and it's always tough with these announcements because you never quite know if they're real you know everyone was like oh the nicktoons movie and that that ended up being exactly nothing um or maybe it will come back and become something and i'll look like an idiot here uh you know um so it's hard to tell exactly what's happening i tried to look around i didn't really find anything did you find any news on that well yeah i i found this article on polygon and um Mm -hmm. it was it was i think new york comic-con last year and uh the executive producer Adam Mudo he said that Pendleton Ward's still working on uh, developing the premise of it, but hmm. that was obviously over a year ago, and they still haven't really announced something. Hmm. In that initial article, they did say though that um, supposedly people that worked on the Lego Movie were supposed to direct it. <laughs> um, and if if it does happen, it'll be the first uh, theatrical movie from Cartoon Network since the Powerpuff Girls movie from two thousand two. Wow. Maybe they'll maybe they'll just scrap this adventure time movie and just do a Powerpuff Girls reboot movie. Just just maybe <laughs> remake remake the, the movie. Um, oh God. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know. Especially with like announcing the show's gonna end. Like typically you want to kind of jump while the iron is hot. Uh. So I feel like if there is still if this is still happening, I feel like we'd hear news sooner than later. Yeah, I mean, also just like you said, the show has declined so much in popularity. So, I mean, there is a possibility that it did get scrapped. Yeah, yeah, and I, I think that'd be unfortunate. But I feel like if they did, if they were to scrap it, they'd at least do a TV movie. Maybe, maybe as the finale, maybe towards the end of the se- uh, series. Mm-hmm. Uh, just because it sounds like they have some idea. It sounds like Penn has kind of something working. But yeah, unfortunately, I, I, I. I don't know that this is going to happen because of because yeah why would you announce it last year and then stay completely quiet on it even right now like right now is probably as popular and um well known as the show is going to be you know it's going to only go down in the in the coming years but right now since everyone's all talking about the show ending I, you know, it seems like the perfect PR move to say, hey, look, the show's ending, but you can you can buy your ticket, you know, pre-order your ticket in three years. The movie's <laughs> coming out, um, you know, or there may have just been a development problem because, yeah, Cartoon Network hasn't done a movie since the Powerpuff Girls movie what, over a decade ago now. Maybe yeah. they just, you know, they're dragging their feet. I don't know. Hard and to the say. reason they haven't done a theatrical movie since is because the Powerpuff Girls movie is looked at as a failure, uh, not only critically, but financially. It didn't do very well at the box office. So there was yeah. obviously, before like Samurai Jack season five was announced, they were supposed to do uh, a, a Samurai Jack uh, movie to conclude the series, but, you know, that never happened. So Yeah, I don't know. I But just be wary about information you see out there, because... Uh, again, even even like all the stuff that I saw announcing the movie, I seem to remember it being like a solid announcement. But even all the stuff I saw was kind of like a, well, we're probably going to do a movie, <laughs> like not 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 super uh, solid on that. How would you like the show to end? Like, what what do you want the show to do for a finale? Do you want it to have a finale, or should it just be like, 
here's an 11 minute episode that's just there <laughs> well yeah i mean there, there could be a conclusion i mean i don't know if i would be very satisfied if they just kind of did like a thing where it's like <laughs> yay let's do adventures forever <laughs> the adventure goes on by yeah. the way, Tara is back. No. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I have I have an idea. I, I My thought would be that it would be something about... Because fin, the, if there's been, like, two overarching things in the seasons as they've gone on, it's that Finn's getting older, and mm-hmm. Jake is also getting older, but in the sense that he's more settling down, whereas Finn is more, like, ramping up. Uh, you know, because Finn wants to become the, the super manly adventurer. Mm-hmm. So my thought is that the natural conclusion would be that Jake Jake doesn't want to adventure anymore. He's tired. He's old. You know, in dog years, he's, like, getting up there. He wants to just kind of settle down with Lady. Meanwhile, Finn wants to, like, explore everything and go beyond Ooh, whether that means, like, other planets or uh, the other side of Ooh. I don't, I don't know if Ooh is the entire planet, whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, so Finn wants to travel. Jake wants to leave, so they kind of have to part ways, and uh, they go on one last adventure in, like, the most dangerous area of Ooh uh, that Finn hasn't experienced yet, and maybe maybe Finn does it as a way to try to get Jake to, like, want to adventure again. Maybe Jake does it as a way to try to get Finn to, like, settle down a little bit, but I don't know. I mean, and and along the way, you got to have a resolution for the Ice King. Like, if there's one thing that I absolutely need in an ending, it's it's a resolution for Simon and Betty. Like the thing, the thing about Adventure Time and the story in Adventure Time is that it's been ever drifting and has been doing a lot of weird turns that I'm not super fond of, mm-hmm. and also things that like I don't like. How how do you resolve everything that's gone on Adventure Time? I don't think they can. I'm not expecting something that will resolve every little thing because they've introduced so many things. <laughs> yeah, it's really weird because I would love to know like what happened before the apocalypse in the land of Ooh. but at the same mm. time the mystery of not knowing what happens kind of i feel adds to the story and to the atmosphere a little bit so i think stakes is as much as we're gonna get at that it's yeah. it, you know it's weird because for all the time adventure time's been on there's never been a tv movie they've never done one yeah that's true they they did they did like two parters they did three parters I think they've even done a four parter uh, and of course there's stakes miniseries mm-hmm. but they've never done like a traditional Cartoon Network TV movie do they still do that with Cartoon Network shows because that used to be a big thing there Billy and Mandy had TV movies and oh Kids yeah Explorer had TV from like movies. 2005 to like 2007 they did one for they did Operation Zero with Conan Kids Next Door they mm-hmm. did My Gym Partners a Monkey yeah even some of the most <laughs> un- <laughs> My Gym Partners a Monkey got a TV movie even That's some cool. of the most unpopular shows at the time got tv mm-hmm. movies but um yeah we had the regular show movie last year that's true that's true but they don't they don't seem to do tv like tv movies as much anymore because that like steven universe never didn't get one the closest it's had is bismuth um well yeah which that's just a 22 minute yep. but the one before regular show the movie was ed and eddie's big picture show back in 2009 <laughs> so well with the exception of some of the ben 10 ones but i don't like to count those <laughs> That's true. Yeah, most of those are live action anyway. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, yeah. So um, I don't know. Maybe maybe they won't do that. Maybe it'll just be just a twenty two minute episode. I I I think they should go out with a bang. I'd like to see a TV movie from them or or the theatrical movie if that were to happen. That'd that would be a be nice, nice finale. But the problem with that is if they if they write the ending in such a way of like oh continued in the TV in the in the movie and the movie gets scrapped. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> it's like, if you want to know how Adventure Time ends, go pay 10 bucks for a movie ticket. <laughs> <laughs> that may not happen. Um, so, yeah, so that's that's kind of the way I would like it to end. Um, yeah, I mean, but I could I could very much see there there being one of those endings that's just like just another day in ooh and, and like the adventure will continue. But I, I think that's a cop out for as much for as as much as Adventure Time has done for all the interesting places that the story has gone. Uh, it'd be kind of weird to just end it on a non-ending. Exactly. But I, I, I would I love don't... to not be su- <laughs> like I, I want there to be a twist. I don't want to be surprised <laughs> by the ending, or I do want to be surprised. Yeah. By I was gonna say, <laughs> um, I need this ending to be as predictable as possible. Throw in all of the cliches. No. Um. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I again, Adventure Time is lauded as one of the most experimental cartoons out there, and so to have it do a like one of those stupid cliche cartoon endings where there is no ending it's just another whatever uh i think that would be a super big cop-out but 
Adventure Time has also done their fair share of cop outs, so I don't know. That's true. Maybe Finn. May, I, you know what I'd like in a finale? I'd like Finn to lose his arm, and it'll actually stick this time. <laughs> <laughs> or Princess Bubblegum stays like a kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> every every change that they've done and then reversed on Adventure Time, unreverse it. <laughs> <laughs> they could pull like a Futurama and have like Princess Bubblegum invent like a time machine or something. <laughs> Ooh. You know, that's actually kind of interesting. I don't know that the show's... I'm trying to think if they've ever done... Oh, they have done time travel, but not mm-hmm. in an extensive way, only... Well, they've done uh, a lot of flashbacks, in... too. Yes, yes. But it'd be it'd be interesting to see... I don't know, maybe Finn now reacting to Finn in the first season. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's like looking back at my old YouTube videos. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, do you have anything else to say about the show ending? Any Any last words about, like, the show's legacy or anything like that uh not really no like i said i mean i wasn't really surprised to hear this and uh yeah adventure time had a great run um i'm, yeah. I'm glad to to see uh how much of an impact it left on cartoon network and animation is in uh in general so absolutely i mean i think what you said at the start was pretty accurate even though people actually watching the show might like that that might be on at an all-time low and even though you know i don't know how many people are going to watch it even after it's gone uh i think that the characters of finn and jake and the symbol of what that show represents, like the the adventure and the craziness, and yeah, yeah, that that will live on. I I think that no matter what, people will remember that. That's not something you know. In the way that people still remember the Powerpuff Girls, the the, the you, you know the Powerpuff Girls I'm talking <laughs> about. Um, <laughs> in, in the way that people still kind of remember that for its themes and stuff, even if they don't necessarily still watch that old show, um, people will remember Finn and Jake and Adventure Time. And so I don't think that we're in any danger of that happening. Um, but I guess on one last word, I would like there to be an Adventure Time-like show. I, w- I would like there to be a new one. Not not a spinoff, not like a reboot, nothing re- actually related to Adventure Time. But I would like to see Cartoon Network have another show in this in a similar vein where it's like anything can happen. And it's it's just this crazy world and there's adventure and there's fun. I'd like to see another show like that. Steven totally. Universe is, is like Adventure Time in a lot of ways, but like um, it doesn't have the kind of, it, it's a little more grounded and I, I'd like to see another show take on that grand scope that Adventure exactly. Time did. I mean, I don't know how you do that without like making it be this obnoxious, like here's Adventure Time again, kids, watch this. You know, because I... <laughs> I don't want a replacement goldfish, I, but I'd like to see something kind of carry on with the kind of stories that Adventure Time tells. And I don't, I don't know that there's going to be another show like that. So, yeah, I mean, I will miss Adventure Time. <laughs> Same. Um, not crying over it, but you know, it, it, it's a show unlike a lot of other shows. And so, I think that's something that is definitely to be remembered. Yeah, I, I don't know if you'd say it's like leaving on a good note per se, but it's like it, it's not leaving on a bad note. <laughs> Well, you don't know. There's still like two seasons they have. That's today. true. <laughs> <laughs> I, well, I mean, I, I. This is why I'm, I'm glad it's getting canceled sooner than later, just because it, 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 it has the potential to really go downhill. I mean, they, they made Jake a terrible, terrible father, and that, that, that hurts me deeply inside. Yep. Uh, <laughs> there's unfortunate things they can do with the story, so let's just keep our fingers crossed. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it's, it's not. To be fair, it's not ending in like, uh, um just like a really, really awful, everyone hates the show and wants nothing to do with it now note. Exactly. Uh, so far, anyway, let's just keep our fingers crossed. And it is weird that we are sitting here talking about this, even though technically it's two more years. So it's oh, yeah. it's over, but it's, it's not gone by any means yet. So with that, um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for being on my channel. And I believe there is a video on your channel right now that... Uh, the good folks can go and click over to if they're interested where we discuss something else. Yeah, um, we, we talked about fandoms and how they influence shows and, and how they can change your opinion or view on shows. Mm-hmm. And so if you want to see that, please click the annotations and cards and description links and everything uh, and go check us out over there. And uh, thank you so much for being on my channel. Uh, no and with that, Pie Guy Rules, out. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>